Hey there, I'm Amy Goggins. It's election day in South Australia, so voters are heading to the polls to decide who will be their next Premier. Leader of the Opposition, Labor's Peter Malinowska is telling Nine his priority is fixing the health system. Many South Australians are, are a bit sick and tired of hearing the stories of triple zero, zero being called and the ambulance rolling up sometimes hours late and people subsequently losing their life. Premier Stephen Marshall says he's about keeping the state safe and the economy strong. As the flood cleanup continues in Queensland, the state government has released details of a proposed $771 million relief package. Around 350 will go towards buying back up to 500 homes or grants will be available to retrofit properties. Deputy Premier Stephen Miles says the Queensland Government has requested sign-off from Canberra. It will also allow us to provide assistance to those who don't have insurance and many people uh, in flood areas uh, just weren't able to afford that flood insurance, particularly where they'd flooded previously. The US President has used a two-hour video call to dissuade China's leader from helping Russia in its war with Ukraine. Joe Biden has again warned his Chinese counterpart there will be consequences if it provides any military or economic support to Moscow. And one of Australia's most iconic landmarks, the Sydney Harbour Bridge, is today celebrating its 90th birthday. With Money Me, you get low interest rates and approvals in minutes. Download the Money Me app today. Approved applicants only. T's and C's apply. Play is about to get underway between Essendon and Geelong in their season opener. The Bombers will have just one of their top six goal scorers, while the Cats will be without a group of veterans. In today's other matches, the Swans and Giants will compete for bragging rights before Port Adelaide plays Brisbane. Last night, Collingwood claimed a 17-point win over St Kilda. Winning coach Craig McRae admits there's still a bit of work to do. It's round one, we've got a lot of improvement in that part of the game, but there's many plays in the world. Selling the family home. Staying clear for the limestone coast, light winds, an overnight low of 12 degrees. Then tomorrow, partly cloudy, a top of 27, the same for Monday. And the Listener app is the new home of your local news. Join now to listen live or on demand.